have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick, and all these black men just watch, and they don't give a f brick. Is. Yeah, this what man, is. this man, he went, grabbed a rock and he hit me in my face, and I wouldn't give him my number. What about brick and is? all y'all just watch. What you want? Y'all see that? What you want? Y'all see that? What y'all want y'all to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Oh y'all. This woman went viral in September 2023 after those videos were posted on The Shade Room. They got over 1 million likes for helping her spread her lie. And black women everywhere came out fighting for this woman, defending her. They used these videos of her spewing lies on black men as another opportunity to openly display their misandry just like they always do every day on social media. I made one video about this hoax and explained that she's lying just like Carly Russell Smollett did. I told you I did not believe this woman it wasn't adding up as it was revealed this wasn't her first time doing this. I told you that this woman was scamming black females and black male simps out of thousands of dollars because they started sending her buku cash, one cash out Venmo and donating to her GoFundMe. Then you also had a lot of female misandrists and black male simps who came out defending her and condemning black American men with absolutely no proof. They just went along with her story in the name of Believe All Women. No black man should think it's okay to pick up a brick and hit a black woman. No black man. I don't care. And in addition to that, no black man should be witnessing another black man pick up a brick to hit a black woman. And let me tell you one other thing that I didn't like about this is because I've been following this is I read the comments and I promise you, I cannot understand why other black women justified the violence that this black woman went through because of looking at her old posts because you Muppet baby, she was lying. They didn't just come for black men. They also came for black women who did not believe her. Well, I'm sorry, Al, some of us are logical and we have common sense. We're not just gonna believe a black woman every time she says something because she's a black woman. And it's crazy that you're getting on us Americans over some lying Somali woman. Y'all playing with me like I'm not from Africa. Y'all playing with me like I'm not from Somalia. Y'all playing with me like we don't do voodoo there. Y'all playing with me like my mom's not a witch. And my dad's not a wizard. It's disgusting that black men felt it was okay to watch it. And it's disgusting for black women to step into their comments and say that she deserved it. I am disappointed across the board on this whole thing. And these men out here ain't. They just try to be nice to them just so you can make it to your car or to your house. I know it sounds misogynistic as hell. And I'm not taking the responsibility off the men. I'm saying that the men ain't. But until they become, y'all got to be safe. And so I just encourage you to try your hardest to be nice when they approach you and give you your unwanted advances. Here's the thing when it comes to black women. Unfortunately, it seems like you have to be the perfect victim to be cared about, protected for them to be sympathy, right? And no, you just have to be telling the truth and your words alone will not cut it. And that is it, y'all. I don't give a how annoying she is. I don't give a She's a lesbian or whatever the other stupid reason y'all have. And fathers, even if you're not with these people's the moms anymore, you have got to start sitting your sons down and drill it through their head. Even if you was abusing that mama, that that is not what you, it's not it, y'all. Look at Claudia up there wagging her finger telling black men what they need to do. The Somali woman lied on the black man and all of a sudden this turned into what black fathers need to do. They need to tell their sons this and that. Okay, Claudia, so what's the message now? What should black mothers be telling their black daughters about lying on men, about keeping their hands to themselves? Because according to a Houston prosecutor, this woman, she's got a problem with both. Yes, the investigation is over and it was determined that she is a fat liar. 
Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar. The woman at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Only KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is talking with the prosecutor on this case tonight. He joins us live near the Galleria with the latest, Bryce. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch. This video with more than a million likes on the Shade Room's Instagram page captured the moments after what appeared to be a brutal attack in West Houston. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. The woman is 33-year-old Rhoda Osman. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? Seen here in tears in a hospital gown. She told the detective that responded that she was hit in the head with a brick after she refused to give her phone number to a guy on the street. And was that verified by any of the evidence that detectives looked at? No, that was not verified. Harris County Prosecutor Keith Houston says surveillance videos from that early September morning show Osman hitting a man first. So she's the one who, the, she was the aggressor? She was the aggressor, yes. And it was a water bottle that hit her, not a brick? He did have a water bottle in his hand and we think that's what left the mark. According to court documents, she asked someone else to launch this GoFundMe for her recovery, raising more than $42,000. But as the story went viral, a blogger on TikTok called police, alerting them to this 2020 GoFundMe, which claimed a vicious assault by a security guard in Minneapolis. Detective Thornton verified with Minneapolis police that there was no assault done at that time. It was completely fictional. Prosecutors allege theft by deception and believe she would have received all that money had the campaign not been shut down. The violence that I have suffered since September 3rd is just unbelievable. I can't even believe I'm here. They try to leave me for dead. In an Instagram story posted Wednesday, Osman addressed those who have doubted her. I actually have things going on in my life. I actually have real ways to make money. I don't have to get a GoFundMe for money. I actually can earn income because I'm actually educated and I actually am talented. And tonight, a spokesperson for GoFundMe telling KPRC2 GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform. All donors have been refunded. And Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Osman did not respond when I reached out to her on Instagram this evening. Tonight, she is wanted here in Harris County on that theft charge. Anyone with information on her whereabouts can report that to Houston police. We're live near the Galleria. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. What are you going to do? And I told all these men, like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's, he's holding a brick. And all these is watching. And nobody does nothing. You go on a jam. You, you go, go on a jam. Now that this scammer was exposed for not only lying in 2023, but lying on several occasions, making up all kinds of stories, had all of these protect black women as dangerous and feminists, believing that she was somehow a real forever victim, that all of these unfortunate attacks just kept happening to her. This one hoax, however, that's the one that will finally place this woman in jail, hopefully. What's really annoying is how black media use this story to further spew their own black misandry. From people saying men ain't SH, you know the rest, wagging their fingers at men, others calling men cowards for not being willing to defend random women in random situations, not knowing anything at all. You could literally be defending a lie like this one and risking your own life to do that. I mean, all of these panels being used to spew more black misandry. But my real issue here, of course, I don't condone any violence and I don't like it, but the men that stood around and yeah. watched, people are no longer getting any type of help in, in situations that they need help in. Mm -hmm. People are not being decent. People are, are making everything a joke, everything a moment to go viral. And this could have been, this is this lady's health. You know, this could have went 
even worse and she could still be in the hospital with severe damages and so to see that nobody helped her I mean that's heartbreaking completely yeah. And then you have people who, if they see someone who's in trouble, they think videotaping it is their response to helping them out, and that's not mm -hmm. the case. Yeah, they're all of a sudden citizen journalists yeah. instead of <laughs> helping. I, like uh, I want to mm -hmm. just express so much compassion right. uh, for this young lady, and I also want to express a lot of concern for where we are, if people can stand around and watch that. We do have to get involved. So she asked a question in that. She said, what did I ever do to deserve this? Nothing. Nothing. You didn't do anything to deserve that. So uh, we want to put that out there. This lady really had a lot of people out here looking like fools. The moral of the story is you cannot believe all women because some women are liars. You get into a situation based on a lie, you lose your life based on a lie, or destroy your life based on a lie, that's going to be on you. Because when you're done defending them, they will keep living and keep lying like they never told a lie before. Guys should definitely stay away from emotional women who may be acting like a chameleon, but when you put a situation like this in front of them, the mask will melt immediately, she won't be able to control herself and she will show you the true feminist that she is. It's crazy how you still have women trying to defend this lady, but shout out to the women who weren't gullible and also took some heat because you wouldn't go along with the lie. As far as this Somali woman, she should be convicted and given the max. This is a very dangerous woman, and she's still in the shade room lying, trying to get people to get on her side on social media. This woman is a danger to American society. Like, lady, shut it up and go turn yourself in, and she should be locked up. And when she's done during her time, deport her and let her people deal with her in her own country. Because I'm telling you, she won't be able to get away with this type of behavior over there. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Shout out to my sister supporting the channel, Alexandria and Glamming Diva Jewels, as well as our brothers Creed, Sherman, Nuke, and Judas Lion. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.